In Animal Crossing, there are a ton of myths. The hard thing about these myths is that you don't know if they're true. So that is why I've created the top six Animal Crossing myths debunked. Now it's time to start. Let the myths begin. Don't you hate Resetti? Me too. Many myths have been created about Resetti and his antics, but one myth that tops the list is the claim that Resetti will delete your town and you'll have to start over if you reset too many times. Come on, this is totally fake. So don't worry about losing your town to this mold. Just remember, no reset. A small hobby of mine is collecting turnips. If you don't understand the turnip craze yet, here's how it goes. Every Sunday, Joan comes around town selling turnips for about 100 bells a turnip. Once you buy them, you can sell them at retail for another price. It changes twice a day, going up and down. But don't let them rot, though. One way of doing that is by keeping your turnips until the following Sunday. Another way of doing this is by all means of time travel. This is where the myth comes in. Some forms of time traveling actually don't affect turnips at all. If you travel backwards, they rot. But if you travel forwards, you are okay. You little liar, Joan. What is the creepiest thing in Animal Crossing? You guessed it, it's those tarantulas and scorpions. If you walk up to them with a net, they charge at you, and if they hit you, you get stunned and die. Luckily, you respawn in front of your house. There is a myth stating that tarantulas and scorpions induce brain damage that makes selling prices lower and makes it harder for the player to become friends with NPCs. This is completely fake. There is no such thing as brain damage, so don't worry. Be happy. Well, not really. One of the worst things about turnips is that they rot. Many people say that they can prevent rotting turnips, but this is fake. Putting turnips on the table will not work, and burying them will not work either. Sorry, but there's no way out of this. So, get selling those turnips before they rot. Out of every 40 clover weeds, one of them is a lucky four-leaf clover. Four-leaf clovers do get you a lot of HHA points. That is a good thing about them. Many people believe that lucky clovers increase your luck if you wear it. Sadly, all it does wearing it is make you look more stylish. It doesn't make you luckier. If you want to be lucky, use Fang Shui or visit Katrina for your fortune. Lucky clovers won't help. Don't you hate that annoying jerk who built his house over your flower patch? It's time for him to make his move. To most people, their first instinct is to hit them with a net or push them. Sadly, this myth is false. Hitting villagers do not affect them leaving or not. To make them leave, introduce yourself to them and just ignore them from now on. Then they should leave fair and square. Thanks for watching this Animal Crossing tips video. Subscribe for more helpful tips and tricks in Animal Crossing. The best part is, it costs no bells. If you have your own question, send me a message or a comment. I will respond quickly as possible. See you later dudes. Bye.